My fellow Americans, I'm Star Parker. Given that the Democrat Party chose a recently defeated political candidate to give a response to the President's State of the Union address because she is black and a woman, I felt I should step up and give my response. Although I haven't recently lost a governor's contest, I am black and I am a woman. Democrats want Americans, particularly minority Americans, to believe that their radical left-wing agenda of big government, controlling health care and education, housing, commerce, the environment, is what our country needs. Should I mention they also want open borders and infanticide? Well, I'm here to say that the extreme agenda of the progressive left is a huge problem, and it certainly offers no solutions for America's future. For too many years, Democrat Party leaders, and I'm talking here about those with a hardcore secular humanist social agenda, have been dominated in our poor communities for decades. Want to see their track record when they're in control? We'll look into any and every distressed zip code in our country. Zip codes, incidentally, that President Trump is now trying to really fix with his urban initiative. The bankrupt progressive ideas of secularism and socialism in America's minority communities are glaring. Or just look abroad at the sad and sobering headlines of devastation in Venezuela to see America's future if these Democrats get their way. America's future is in the values that defined it from its beginning, Christianity, capitalism, and our Constitution. And when I say Christianity, I do not mean to deny the bedrock of religious freedom. I'm saying that biblical values of personal responsibility must be predominant and must define our nation and our culture. There is no freedom without family, and there is no family without faith. It's as simple as that. Should every American be free to choose? Well, yes. But recognize that in 2018, growth of the American populations was the lowest it's been in 80 years. The Census Bureau projects that in 16 years, there will be more Americans over 65 than under 18. And without children, our future is in danger. Our future is about life, not 61 million abortions since Roe v. Wade. The effect of the left's agenda on our black communities has been devastating. Abortion has wiped out 18 million, and out-of-marriage births have tripled since the 1960s. What kind of future can we expect for our black children when they are so often born and raised in low-income, single-parent households? We must restore the integrity of family in all American communities. This can only happen with revival of our founding principles, our principles of Christianity, our principles of capitalism. Capitalism is a bedrock for our future. Our president is right about the dangers of socialism, and millions of Americans are ready to fight with him for the virtues of free and fair markets. Profit is good. It's the fuel to create the jobs for our future, for our children, for our children's children. Freedom is about individuals taking responsibility for their lives. Capitalism is about building, creating, working, saving, and owning. America should not settle for a culture of victimhood, of blaming everyone else for our challenges and our problems. No, we don't want a nanny state. We want freedom. Personal empowerment comes with personal responsibility, and government control sucks the very oxygen out of personal initiative. America is about you, not politicians. And the Constitution is the handbook that our founders provided us to keep government limited and to keep politicians out of our lives. Let's honor it, and let's not let the progressives now in Congress destroy it. America's already in enough fiscal and moral crises. We have budget deficits and national debt like this nation has never experienced before. This bankruptcy is a product of a half century of increasing adoption of the welfare state, big government policies, and secularism. We can turn it around. We must turn it around. This president that the left is attacking as a racist, as a dictator, has gotten America growing faster than it has in years, with African American and Latino unemployment rates the lowest they've been in history. He's digging us out of the hole that the left put us in and that they want to put us back in. Well, I'm one black woman who believes in America and loves this country, who believes that our future lies in the principles of Christianity, the fruit of capitalism, and a rule of law that our Constitution ensures. I, Star Parker, am here to tell you that tens of millions of Americans of all backgrounds agree with me and agree with our president, Donald Trump. So leftists, be on notice that multiple millions are prepared to fight for all that has made America great. And we will win our nation back. We will win back our freedom for our future and for our God. Go MAGA and go President Trump.